but I'll need your help. <laughs> okay. So we're starting the meeting at, I have 5.58 p.m. I'll say 6 p.m. Okay. Um, uh, uh, should we, what's the first thing? Approval of the agenda? Okay. The first thing is to call to order and okay. then you, what you did and then roll call. We have oh, roll call. That's right. Uh, Marlene Robinson present. Dick Hitchingham present. Um, Julie Lawn is going to try and join us later. Um, Ann Kaminsky is ill. Um, and uh, Michelle Lonaconis will not be able to make it. And um, neither will Sally Bobeck. Mm -hmm. So have I, I think I've covered everybody. Yep. Yep. Along with me attending the meeting. Gotcha. So on the, I guess, moving on to the approval of the agenda, it was the only thing that I had, it was regular, a regular agenda with the regular um, uh, items on it. Under old business, I was gonna, there was two Dell laptops mm -hmm. were purchased with the CARES Act monies and available for patron usage. Mm -hmm. And then the only other item under new business was board members who term expires in 2021. Mm -hmm. Michelle Lonaconis is, uh, expires January, 2021. And Kaminsky in February, 2021. And Mr. Hitchingham in May, 2021. Okay. And I didn't know if you folks had any additions. I have nothing to add. Nope. I don't either. Um, so I'll take a motion to approve the agenda. I so move. I'll second. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I'm I for me. All in favor, I good. Okay. Uh, then it's the minutes. We had no communications. Communications, okay. And then as you said, then move on to the approval of the minutes from the previous meeting. Okay. I move to accept the minutes as presented. And I will second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Oh, should we, I should be, well, we should be writing those down as part of a virtual meeting, right? We have to say the names of the people who voted. I think, um, you you might and you might include that um, yeah that i will because i think that was a rule so okay hitchingham says i yep so does robinson we're good okay and old business or, tr or librarians, tre treasurer's report first? Okay. Librarian's report. Treasurer's report first, you said? Yes, sir. I, I emailed copies of the reports to the board mm -hmm. members a couple of days ago. Nothing too startling anywhere. The uh, operating statement income figure reflects the fact that we're out of tax collection time and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Big items, tax collections and penal fines come in. 
so income account income figures won't be very impressive for a while on the expense side there weren't anything wasn't anything unusual in my estimation i did have kind of one question we're continuing to subscribe to the newspapers i'm wondering if there you know we've already renewed subscriptions for the next year or so, but the question has come to mind as to whether there's getting, we're getting much use out of that, given the fact that, uh, you know, we, I don't, I don't know how you handled newspapers, Michelle. We, I guess we, we kept the subscription going, um, mainly for, you know, we, we don't put them out on the table for people to read, but if they were to ask for it to read the, the classifieds and things like that. Uh, um, yes, of course. So, but if you feel that, you know, we should uh, put it on hold, we can do that too. Um, it, well, we just resubscribed to uh, the Manistee paper, I think recently and something else recently. So I'm satisfied as is. I guess Hopefully because we'll... we were keeping them um, in case people done, didn't have access to the papers, especially looking for jobs. No, that's a good, good point. I'm satisfied. And no doubt we'll be back to normal any day now, right? Uh, mm. <laughs> okay. Uh, on the other expenses, I didn't see anything weird or anything. Balance sheet looks fairly comfortable, as you can, as you might have noticed. Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me, one second. I, I didn't know if that might be, one of the board members calling in. Okay. You on speaker? Okay, I'm gonna put you really loud. Okay, we. Theo, can you speak, please? Oh, good. It's Theo Wasco. Okay, can you hear her, Marlene? Yes. Okay, Me Theo too. is okay. Theo is joining the meeting. We're in the point of looking at the financial statements, which were emailed to everybody a couple of days ago. Finished with the income statement and looking at, I'm looking at the balance sheet now. Comfortable balances, $107,000 in savings and a little under 4,000 in checking. So again, comfortable figures. Mm-hmm. And the final report to look at is the check detail report. And again, just the normal expenses, payroll. And nothing unusual there. So okay. I would ask that uh, we you accept the uh, reports and authorized payment of the checks or payment of the bills. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. All right. All in favor and would you say your name? Hi. From Dick. Okay. And Robinson, I'll say aye. It passes. Okay, now librarians report. Just real briefly, um, this last month we've been dealing with a rise, especially in our area um, and going a according to the state of Michigan, um, the health department, um, we're 
a lot of areas have decided to go to go just to curbside. Um, we had to come up with a plan pretty quick about if we were going to mitigate allowing people still to come in. Um, what we did was we are maintaining our hours, but we have added to our Facebook website and also handouts that everybody coming to the library make an appointment, whether it is to use a computer or for browsing or for copy and fax service. Um, we're limiting the computer usage to half an hour. And for folks coming in to browse, usually they're done within 10, 15 minutes at the most. Um, so that we don't allow more than three people in the library at one time. And it seems to be working. Um, I know that Benzie Shores also went the route that we did. We have had uh, a lot of folks that are again filing for unemployment and the, un the, the state of Michigan has changed um, their, how they qualify. They have to provide a photo ID. Their they have to upload their driver's license. They have to upload their social security card. And so being a lot, allowing folks to be able to use the computers has been invaluable. Um, but I also know that this is, is, is cautionary that if we were to to go um, our case load, cases that we would definitely follow the mandate from the state of Michigan, but I think we're mitigating it well. Um, so I think it's just, we'll take it a week by week basis. And um, I think that the plan we have is working. I know like Benzie Shores, the, they had also went to what we're doing is by appointment because they don't get the foot traffic that some of the other libraries do. Like Traverse went to curbside strictly, Manistee strictly to curbside, Cadillac to curbside. But I think with the plan that we have, we're, we're doing well. And of course, maintaining the social distancing, requiring folks to wear masks, having the hand sanitizer, sanitizing after every person that uses a computer and, and sanitizing like the door handles, the bathrooms after every usage. So I think we're doing pretty good and we'll just keep watching it week to week. Um, our, our, our checkout's been pretty steady. Overdrive's been steady. Um, so, one thing I'd uh, we're encouraging folks is to um, um, we're really promote our STEM kits. We're running a little bit behind on getting them cataloged, but I hope to have those cataloged in the net by the end of not this week, but the following week. So we got a little bit of a templates that we can follow from the other libraries, which is going to make it a whole lot easier and a lot faster. Mm -hmm. So we hopefully will get those out and that they'll be able to, the kids will be able to enjoy them over Christmas break. So um, we're running behind too on try to organize an online story hour or that the classroom um, program. So I'm hoping in January that once we get through the holidays, I think it'll be a little bit easier and we can concentrate on that and, and get back and really focus on getting that done mm -hmm. so okay that's about it okay i as i'm writing this i'm thinking about in 50 years when somebody reads these minutes how unique it's going to be <laughs> definitely it's been a challenge for our entire community for our state for the world but right yeah uh, I think we're just trying to get through it the best we can. Yes. I think we're doing pretty good. Michelle, uh, I support your ideas of trying to keep the uh, library open for people coming in using the computers. I'm it's, glad it's to been, see you doing that and encourage you to do it as long as you can. Yeah. 
No, it's been, I, I, I can't imagine with the kids or with the folks that are having to come in and try to do this on their phones um, and no internet access because we've had to scan like the IDs and then upload it to a computer or to a flash drive so that they can use it and then upload it to un their unemployment account. Yeah. So um, hopefully we're, we're helping out the community. So, but thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, now old business. Yep, and then Theo, um, before you joined it on our old business, we only had one, agent, one item was the two laptops, Dell laptops were purchased purchased with the CARES Act monies and they're available for patron usage. So they're all set up. We've got one um, patron computer up by our front table as you just enter. And then we have another one set up back in the computer room. Um, what, right. So um, and we're not allowing more than one person in the computer room at one time. So we can move the laptop to the meeting room, but there are some definite, um, there, uh, th there are some restrictions about the meeting room usage. So we could only use, let one person go in to be able to use that laptop, but at least we can, we can move them around so we can keep people apart if we have to. That's and then we will, uh, we, and for that, we can now apply, I've got to apply and we should get reimbursed a thousand dollars towards those laptops. Oh, neat! That sounds good. So, how much were they? Do you remember the total? Uh, well, I, you know, there was. They were a little over five hundred and about five sixty, a piece. Yeah. Great. So we, we we tried to go through and get the Chromebooks. And anything else that we could find, and they were sold out for months. Mm -hmm. So um, I went and contacted Dell as um, uh, just a recommendation from my brother. He, that's what they've used consistently. They've been a good workhorse for them. And um, so the I know that I had wanted to get more, but I think two really fit, fits the bill right now. Mm -hmm. So... Yep. Okay, they paid good. pretty much paid for most of them. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Um, on to new business then. Just was a reminder um, that, uh, and I and did Michelle Lonaconis knows that she needs to contact the Colfax Township Board. Her, her term expires or appointment from that board in January of 2021. And then Anne's is up in February of next year. And then um, Dick's, yours is up in May of 2021. And we hope that they all will please continue to serve because we love you all. And uh, I'm putting for, con contact the township board for renewal. Yes, yes. So that that's it was just as a reminder that those were the the terms that were up for reappointment this year or coming next somebody year. is keeping track it's good that you're keeping track thank you at the point of interest did everybody notice that the uh, tree next to the uh, in the front yard has been trimmed oh yes. yeah they did a really it's it's really pretty i know um, they, they, gosh, it must be about three feet underneath the trunk. They got that all trimmed and cleaned up and they went ahead and lit it. Circumstances being they, you know, because the, the restriction on, on no more than 25 people and because of the surge, they didn't do the tree lighting, but it's yeah. lit. we finally got the Christmas tree lights up here at the library. So it looks pretty. Good. Uh, is there anything? Oh, is that Theo talking? No, I'm listening only. Oh, okay. Somewhere there's um, anything else besides adjourning?
I just that um, Dick had left it with me that um, I did talk with Julia. I don't think I'll contact her as soon as we're done with the meeting to let her know that it's it. We had a short meeting, um, but she was working and trying to get out of work so she could uh, um, attend the meeting, but that she will um, come in and sign the checks and I will get them mailed tomorrow for the bills. Good. Sounds good to me. Okay. I move we adjourn. I'll second that. Um, all in favor, and once again, say who you are as you say it. I'm in favor, see you. Mm -hmm. I from Dick. Mm -hmm. And I from Robinson. We are over and out. <laughs> I wish everybody a very Merry Christmas. Thank you. And Happy New Year. Thank you. Let's all hope it's going to be a good one. It's going to be better. <laughs> right. We're all going to stay up after midnight and kick the old year out. That's right. <laughs> With a big boot. That's yeah. Right. <laughs> all right. right. I'm going to hang up. Thanks, okay. Everybody. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Have a good night. Thank bye. you. Bye bye. Bye, everybody. Bye bye.